Hello YouTube, this is Jared with Omnivore Blade Works. I'll zoom in a little bit. This is a, a model of the new, well, this is the new Direwolf. I can't remember the it's Lupus Deerus. Yeah, that's the name of it. And it's a uh, sort of a dirk, a modern dirk, named after the prehistoric wolf. Um, I'm, I'm showing you these things because I need to uh, cut some new steel pretty soon. And um, I've had a call for something like this. It, w it was a request for a mini Gladius, and I decided I didn't want to make a mini a Gladius because of the limitations uh, of that design. Um, so this is what I envision to be a more practical um, overall geometry to do the same job. The reason it's more practical, in my opinion, is because of the downward canted blade. This allows an operator to thrust both close in with a, a you know a more natural or strong grip uh, for an uppercut stroke, and it also allows you to place your thumb up here and and engage at a longer distance uh, in a more natural uh, wrist and arm position. So, and also having this hook hooked uh, handle area maximizes the weapon retention as well and it makes a very comfortable chopping um, tool because it rotates in your hand just a little bit um, but still it doesn't want to come out so uh, for maximum retention and rapid deployment and more comfort a downward canted blade and a curved hand shaped handle uh, works work really well in my opinion so um, this blade will be carried in a holster or a sheath. Uh, it'll be a drop leg rig and um, probably just have a little bit of retention down at the tip and open back so that you can draw real quick and then come out and thrust right away without having to pull it up. Um, it'll be a combination of kydex, micarta, and maybe uh, some nylon to, to make a drop, drop leg uh, belt loop. And then it'll probably need some elastic around the knee to keep it from flopping. So um, this this is the this actually is based on the handle from our Uncia Combat Kukri and our Megalodon um, fighting knife. And the hole placement is in the same place on the for the hilt hole. And then there'll probably be a hole down here at the bottom uh, of the handle. And there'll just be some jimping on the spine so that if you did stick it into something, you could push down or maybe grab a hold of it and do whatever you need to. I kind of like having a flat spot on a blade so that you don't cut yourself automatically if you do get your hand on it. Um, so that's the dire wolf. And then in the same family, predator family, we're going to make a few of these, which will be uh, for the... Um, a Gununting inspired blade. It's a little shorter than a normal Gununting, but um, we could probably lengthen it out if we wanted to. And um, well, you get the idea behind this. It's just the Filipino style. And uh, it'll do basically the same chores, except it'll be more, more um, suited for slashing. And uh, the blade geometry will. It will will be, uh, or the grind geometry will be a little bit flatter and uh, sharper at the point than the, the double-edged. So you'll have more point strength on the double-edged direwolf and a little bit sharper, keener edge on the, um, this is going to be the Filipino Cobra, which I can't remember what the name of that is offhand. So anyway, um, this is going to be in the next batch of 1095 blades, and the Dire Wolf is going to have uh, one of those in 3V for a customer who's already ordered one, and, um, and the rest will probably be 1095. Maybe I'll be going for myself too in 3V. So, um, 
the new batch is going to be coming soon, and these are two of uh, the new models in that batch. And we're pretty excited to make them. And I hope that you're excited to see them in action. So uh, stay tuned.